Okay, in our video series of neurology lectures, in this video, we'll be talking about migraine headache. We'll discuss that what is migraine. We'll discuss what are the types and triggers of migraine. We'll discuss that how do you treat migraine headache. First of all, what is migraine? Migraine is derived from a Greek word hemicrania, which means one side of the head because the pain of migraine headache involves one side of the head. So migraine is defined as an episodic neurovascular phenomena characterized by a unilateral headache. It is a neurovascular phenomena. It involves the neuron and it involves the vessels. Basically, what happens in migraine headache is there is paradoxical vasoconstriction of the vessels surrounding the brain. And then later on, there is vasodilation of the vessels. Initially, there is vasoconstriction of the vessels and later on, those vessels are dilated, resulting in throbbing pain, throbbing headache. That is called as migraine. It affects females much more than males. Then coming to the types of migraine, migraine headaches has two types, migraine without aura, migraine with aura. What is an aura? We'll discuss aura in a while. First of all, migraine without aura is the most common type of migraine headache. And it is defined as greater than or equal to five attacks lasting four to 72 hours with both of the following features both of the features in A and B. The features in A include nausea, vomiting, photophobia, photosensitivity, phonophobia, sensitivity to the sounds, and greater than or equal to two of the following, unilateral pulsating headache aggravated by the routine activity. So migraine headache without aura is the most common type with five or more attacks having both of the features present in A and B. So that is migraine without aura. Coming to migraine with aura. To understand migraine with aura, we need to understand that what is an aura. Aura is basically one or more than one fully reversible symptom, a neurological symptom. Neurological symptom like visual changes, flickering spot in the visual fields or visual loss or blurring of the visual field. This is a picture showing flickering lights in the visual field. This is an aura. This is another picture showing an aura where there is blurring of the vision. Or there can be sensory symptoms like paresthesias or numbness in the limb. There can be speech disturbance. So these are all neurological complaints that present as aura in migraine and these are reversible symptoms. Usually they precede the headache. Before the start of the headache, patients experience an aura, a sensory symptom and after that they have the throbbing unilateral headache. That is called as migraine with aura. Migraine with aura is defined as two or more attacks with the features present in A, B, and C. A include aura, visual or sensory aura. And there is unilateral progression of the symptoms over five or greater than five minutes, but less than 60 minutes. And headache within 60 minutes of the aura. Initially, patient has an aura, a visual or sensory change, which is less than 60 minutes and it is fully reversible and after those 60 minute patient starts having throbbing headache that is called as migraine with aura what are the triggers of migraine triggers of migraine are known by the patients themselves they will themselves tell you that doctor whenever i eat chocolates i feel that on that day i specifically get migraine headache or whenever i am hungry for a longer time i get migraine headaches so the triggers are known to the patients and those triggers can be either chocolate, cheese, hunger, missing a meal, irregular sleep pattern, alcohol or certain types of foods can trigger migraine. Now there are certain types of migraine in which you just need to know the concept behind it. Like how the migraine headache can present to you in emergency department. I'll briefly skim through them. Hemiplegic migraine, profound hemiplegia precedes development of headache. There is weakness on one side of the body and it precedes headache and it is fully reversible. Basilar migraine, which involves the brainstem with impaired consciousness, vertigo, dysarthria, diplopia, ophthalmoplegic migraine, which involves the eyes, transient unilateral ophthalmoplegia with doses. So these are certain types of migraine that you just have an idea that a migraine headache can present like this to you. 
Now coming to the treatment of migraine headache. Migraine headache, if a patient presents to you in emergency department with migraine headache, what you need to do is that you have to give simple analgesia, paracetamol, one gram per oral or soluble aspirin 600 to 900 mg per orally or any NSAID. And in combination to simple analgesia, you need to give 5-HT1 agonist. 5-HT1 agonist includes sumatriptan. Sumatriptan are basically the agents that cause vasoconstriction of the vessels. As I said, that in the pathophysiology of migraine headache, there is paradoxical vasoconstriction initially. And after that vasoconstriction, there is vasodilation of the vessels. That vasodilation of the vessels causes throbbing headache and pain. Therefore, sumatriptans, what they do is that they cause vasoconstriction of the vessels and they abort the headache. Sumatriptan are given 50 to 100 mg per orally or 6 mg subcutaneously. And one important point to remember is that oral triptans are not recommended in patients under 18 years of age. In the pediatric group, oral triptans have no efficacy. Now, triptans cause vasoconstriction of the vessels. Therefore, in all these pathologies, triptans are contraindicated. If a patient has ischemic heart disease, the vasoconstriction will further reduce the blood supply to the heart, uncontrolled hypertension, basilar hemiplegic migraine, and prior strokes. In all these conditions, you do not want further vasoconstriction of the vessels, and triptans are therefore contraindicated, especially in the ischemic heart disease and uncontrolled hypertension. Remember that usually when you give Triptan to the patient, rebound headache may occur in 45% of the patients within two hours of giving triptans. So you can offer a second dose of triptan after two hours if the patient experiences a rebound headache after you have given the first dose. Now, as I said that in migraine headache, there is usual nausea vomiting with migraine headache. So you have to give anti-emetic to combat the nausea, metoclopramide 10 mg per oral or IV and avoid ergetamines, avoid opiates. Refer for admission if the patient has altered mental status or if the patient has persistent neurological signs. That patient needs a workup to exclude other pathologies. For the prophylaxis of migraine, you have the options of valproic acid, beta blocker, including propanolol and topiramate. So usually beta blockers are preferred in the category for prophylaxis of migraine. In summary, we talked about what is migraine more common in females than male, a neurovascular phenomenon, migraine without aura, migraine with aura, and all their clinical features. Then certain types of migraines. Then we talked about treatment, simple analgesia, sumatriptan, and triptans are contraindicated in these conditions. Antihematics and refer for admission if the patient has altered mental status or neurological signs. Prophylaxis include all these drugs. If you liked my video, please click on the subscribe button and check out my other videos on emergency medicine. The link of those videos is given in the description below. Thank you very much.